You may think it's easy to do that. Justin's going to tell you why it's not. Yeah, it's not. Even at the the tax foreclosure, it's difficult. I have clients who buy, you know, hundreds of properties, and uh, what happens is the you, you buy it out of the foreclosure, which is great, but that there's no title insurance. So when you want to go sell this property, you have to get title insurance. And the problem is um, a lot of the counties don't go through the proper procedures, so you can't get title insurance, so you have to file quiet titles. We did them last year. I think we did uh, like 50 of them for one guy, and you have to go through, file the paperwork, get rid of that bank, clear out the title, and then move it on. And then even if you do that, um, you want to talk to a lawyer about if you're going to rent the property, especially setting up a lease and uh, getting good tenants in there and not having bad tenants who are going to uh, take advantage of you and not pay you. So you got to be able to have a great lease and be able to get them out when they don't perform. And, and really, you should, if you're thinking about getting into the uh, foreclosure purchase uh, business, you want to get a lawyer like Justin Grove on your side right away before you even put dime one down because he'll help you figure out what are going to be the cost to clear all this yeah. stuff. He, you can do a title search on that piece of property and find out where all the liens are, can't you? Yeah, you have to have somebody do a title search, figure out, you know, was there a one mortgage, was there two, were there liens, did they get all get extinguished properly? Um, and even, even when they do get extinguished properly through a tax foreclosure, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to get title insurance. So Does an, uh, does an income tax and IRS lien follow the property or the individual? Uh, the individual. If it goes through a, a foreclosure, then it should be wiped out. But what we see is, um, you know, even if they are wiped out by operation of law, uh, title companies still don't recognize it and they won't take the risk on it unless you go to court and get an order saying, yes, they've been extinguished, which is relatively easy because we file the paperwork. The judge says, yeah, this was done. You know, it's foreclosure. There is no mortgage. Why are you here? You say, well, the title company is making us be here. So. You know, we got just such a case right now, and I'm trying to get the uh, I'm trying to get the guys that that uh, would get the money back, yeah, uh, to pull the trigger. But for some reason, they just won't do it. And I, I I think that I could do it really inexpensively and get the judge to release it, and it's close to three or four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, the title insurance company is going to do what's in their best interest, and they're not going to release money or insure property that they don't think is a good risk for them. Yep. Anyway, 